welcome back to my channel, Never Not Cleaning. My name is Chris, and if you are looking for some speed cleaning or cleaning motivation in general, then you're in the right place. On this particular day, I started cleaning right after work, and I decided to clean some things that don't get cleaned on a regular basis, like my blinds in the living room. As you can see, they're pretty gross. I have several of these green cloths that I use for dusting. This is not the same one that I use for the blinds. I had to get a new one because it was just too disgusting. I buy them from Dollar Tree, so I have several of them. I think they come in a pack of two and you get one green and one blue. So I try to use the green ones for general all-purpose cleaning with an all-purpose spray or dry dusting. And the blue ones I use for cleaning with wood cleaner or wood polish spray. I feel like the wood polish or the wood cleaners kind of gunk up the microfiber pores. So I try not to use one for the other type. I try to keep them separate, but you might see me use a blue one for dusting. I probably do. I notice with the light shining in the bay window here that you can see a true color of what my dining room table actually looks like. In the shadows, it looks walnut, but when the sun is shining on it, you can see the actual gray color. Does the Easter Bunny ever hide eggs in your house that you don't find until much, much later? Happens in our house too. Now this is one area of my house that I don't dust as often as I should because as you can see, there's a lot of stuff on a lot of shelves. So I decided to tackle that task today. And as I start tackling it, I quickly realize that this is a bigger job than just using a wet cloth or a dry cloth. So I have to go and get the vacuum to vacuum up the huge amount of dust, which you'll see here in just a minute. When I started vacuuming these two shelves, the vacuum cleaner was completely empty. As you'll see here, that is the amount of dust from just those two shelves. I'm gonna speed this clip up so you're not sitting here watching me for two hours because that's how long it took for me to dust these shelves. I literally took every single thing off, cleaned and dusted the shelf, cleaned and dusted every item on it, and then I put every item back. Now I know that's typically how you dust, but like I said before, this is a huge amount of shelves and a huge amount of stuff and you don't want to see me sit here and take every item off in real time because nobody's got time for that. It really did take me two hours to do all of that, but now that it's finished, I'm really glad because it was long overdue. This wall of bookshelves has nearly 30 years of artwork and mementos from my daughter and now my granddaughter. Whatever it is I'm holding here, I forgot where it went, so I'm just trying to figure out what bookshelf it belongs to. The chair that you can't see in the corner is usually occupied by one or both dogs, so I'm going to wash these blankets right now. 
And you'll see in just a second, I've locked them in the other room so they can't bother me while I'm cleaning. They're very eager to go outside and you can see Queen grabs her ball because she thinks I'm going to throw it for her. But sadly, I'm not. My granddaughter uses this table over here in the corner for her little art slash workstation and there is glitter on the floor everywhere. So I'm just vacuuming up the glitter and dusting off the table for her and then I realize how dusty all the other furniture in this room is too. the things I love the most about this vacuum is how quick and easy you can switch out the attachments so you can see I'm using like three different attachments here and of course even though this video is like super sped up but it's very very easy to switch them out and I just love this vacuum for that's the main reason I just love it so much Have you ever been at home alone cleaning? You're just in the zone listening to music with headphones on and then someone walks up behind you and scares the bejesus out of you. Hello? Ah! Yes! This is my husband walking in the door after work and he claims he stood there talking to me which clearly from the video all he did was walk in and say hello but I was expecting to be at home alone and literally scared the you know what out of me when I turned around and saw him there because I did not hear him say hello because I was wearing headphones. Maybe you've noticed in some of my recent videos or maybe not but the faucet has been leaking when I use this sprayer. So I did what everyone does when they want to learn how to do something. I watched a YouTube video to see if I could fix it. And to my credit, the leaky faucet was fixed, but the sprayer button is now broken and pops off when I try to press it. So I fixed one problem, but I created another. This is why we work. This basket of laundry that I just dumped on my bed has been at the end of my bed for close to a month now and I just keep adding to it and adding to it so I decided since I was cleaning house today I'm just going to get it over with. Also I just want to clarify this is my laundry. This is no one else's laundry in the house. They pretty much keep up with their own laundry except my granddaughter. I do wash and dry hers but she puts everything away. So this is just my laundry that's been piling up here for an entire month and I wash it and dry it and then I dump it from the dryer into that basket and then it just sits there.
This right here, in my opinion, is by far the worst part of doing laundry. Black socks, white socks, they all look the same. So I try to buy socks that have some sort of print or emblem or logo or something on them so that they're different from one another. I just hate matching socks. We are almost at the end of the video. If you're still here watching, thank you so much. Please click that like button. It helps out my channel, especially because I'm new. It lets YouTube know that you like what you see. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button for more cleaning motivation. I'll see you next time. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me.